Hey, Bass Geek here. The bass are feeding on teeny tiny shad, and there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands out there. Well, how do you stand out from all those thousands and thousands of things that they eat every single day to catch those bass? Come on, I'm gonna show you. That's right, geeks. The bass are feeding and focused on shad, although there's a secondary pattern that we'll touch a little bit on. You're focused on shad. Everybody's focused on shad this time of year. Well, why are the bass going to bite something that kind of looks like what they have eat and what they have thousands and hundreds of thousands of? Well, you got to show them something that's just a little bit different and pique all their senses. And that's what the underspin does. This isn't your granddad's underspin. It's not just another underspin. We're going to talk about finesse underspins for big big bass and i might accidentally have something that you geeks are going to be really interested in all right geeks by the way if you haven't noticed i've got some bass geek shorts on guys we got bass geek hoodies we got bass geek tumblers we got a ton of bass geek stuff out on the website bassgeekfishing.com guys that goes right back into what we're getting ready to talk about which is the bass geek box that's what i pay for it for so get out there support bass geek pick up some shorts some hoodies it's getting ready to get cooler because that money is what i do these giveaways with let's check out what nickels lures and dirty jigs sent us they are sponsoring this giveaway let's tear this sucker open and see what we got check it out you're gonna get a sticker from dirty jigs and hey, look, guys after my own heart, a koozie, baby. Gotta keep that adult beverage fresh and crisp. But you also got one from Nichols Lures, baby. I don't know if I'm sending those, those to you guys or not. Might just be for old Bass Geek. Check it out, man. I'm gonna send this to you guys too. This has got every single bait that Dirty Jigs has to offer. And this one has got every single bait that Nichols Lures has to offer. So now let's dive in to what they sent us. So generally these companies will send us like 50 bucks worth of stuff and you know, a couple of extra things for you geeks out there. Again, I say the box is sponsored, but really, you know, this is just stuff that I've always used. So they're nice enough when I reach out and say, hey, you guys wanna be part of the Bass Geek box and they'll send us some stuff for you guys. So, hey, they help us out. They give you all free stuff. Make sure you go show them a little bit of love. And the great thing about them is they're all 100% made in the USA. So very first thing we're going to talk about and some of the best spinner baits on the market. I'm going to try and take these bad boys out for you. Check out this little compact spinner bait from Nichols. Check that out. But it is absolutely time to throw a compact spinner bait. They brought us in a couple of different colors. I like this, especially around some small mouth. You're also going to get a Nichols Lure sticker. And these are what we call, or what they call, guppy heads. Now, I really dig these. These are kind of like their ball head jigs or vertical presentation. The I call them, they're made for the minnow baits. But things like your minnow baits, this is my, one of my favorite. This is the Yum FF Sonar Minnow. And then your smaller swim baits like your Kitex. That's what these are really made for. You can use them for a whole host of things. They're basically a finesse head with that 90 degree line tie. So if you wanna do a, you know, a Domeki rig or that sort of thing, that's what these are designed for. And they sent me some really great colors. They've got two or three different colors in these heads too. So they're finished. That's something else that I like. So they sent me some of my favorite size for these and I love the eyes on them. This right here, and this is a one alt hook, but it'll really work on anything like your smaller Kitex, so smaller baits. This is a 3 16ths ounce in the guppy head. That's the naked shad color. Next up, we got a quarter, one of my favorite sizes to throw. And then they sent a 3 8 another great size for when they're down a little bit deeper. Last but not least, what we're gonna be talking about today, and that is the underspin. This is a 1 8 ounce underspin. Guys, you bank anglers, all you people out there that fish from a shoreline, this is your money underspin. The 1 8 ounce size, and look at that, look at the head. And look at the eyes on that thing. That's incredible. That is a great little size right now for what I like to throw. Now, they make them in several different sizes. This one is a step up. I like the quarter size too. 
but you need to get down a little bit deeper. You need to get it down a little bit. You need to move it a little bit faster. You've got a 3 8 great looking head. Now, something I love about this is that wire, and that is a pretty heavy duty wire, and you can bend that wire down just a little bit to get it away from the body. So if you're using a good fat belly shad, that is a huge key. I love this, and this one is the one I'm gonna show you how to fish because we're gonna throw it around some bass and move it a little bit faster past them to get a reaction. You guys know I love to throw a 1 8 but sometimes you've gotta really hustle it by them to get them to react. All right, guys, so we're gonna throw the 3 8 Don't worry, I'm gonna try my best not to lose this. I might get a little stink on it for you though so that you guys can have some luck with it. So I am gonna tell you, I'm gonna put this on. Now, normally, Normally, I'd use glue because of the way this is. But of course, as always, what I wanna do, and we're gonna use the J-Bros since I've already spilled the beans on the J-Bros. Little double trouble here. And we're going to find the seam. We're going to poke a hole. And then we're gonna get right in the dead center. We're gonna run it up. Keep that bad boy good and fat. Come right out that hole shove it up on there now, like i said normally i would go ahead and put a little bit uh, just a single drop trust me that's all you need of the of that single drop on there and you're going to keep that where it needs to be guys i'm telling you this stuff is impressive you can get it at tackle warehouse there'll be a link down there and if you're in uh, bass pro they're carrying it too but there you have it we're going to go super ultra finesse with this bad boy i'm going to show you the two rods i'm going to throw this three eighths on a spinning rod because i'm going to be scoping these bass if i'm throwing it on like just casting out there fan casting whatever i would absolutely throw this 3 8 on a casting rod maybe a medium medium heavy with a moderate tip now i'm putting this on eight pound test because i fish some ultra clear water this is the pitsine knot so basically you just double it up fold it over what I do is spin it around about seven times and I'm not counting, so I don't know how many that is. We're gonna call it seven. And then you put it through the loop at the top. You wet it all the way down because you're gonna cinch and then you're gonna slide, okay? Now these are also, you get these in the tool kit. We're just gonna cut that tag in off and we're good to go. All right guys, so this is one of my favorite. This is the tactical bass. Now these they there are still a few of these out there for sale i'll put a link in they have been replaced and updated great rods from tfo i like this because it's a 7.3 medium action fast so it's going to be able to handle that three eighths ounce and as you can see it goes up to a one half ounce so from three sixteenths to one half ounce good range the tfo tactical bass now they have like i said updated these they are the taction line now but there are still some out on tackle warehouse i'll send you a link to these rods got it on eight pound test of course good old pro 100 from canine line Got it backed with their braid. Guys, I can't stress this to you. I say it all the time. Best braid on the market. I'm telling you, just try it. I got a 10% off code. You can go on their website. It's worth it. Their crappy braid has won, I don't know how many world championships in a row. Go try it. You're not going to be disappointed. Pro 100, eight pound test. And of course, this is a lose custom pro, I believe. You can tell I've had it for a minute because I wore all the uh, identification off of it. They obviously hold up for a while. Maybe not the paint, but at least the reel does, and they are great. Definitely a lose. One of their higher-end reels, uh, spinning reels, and uh, I love it. I think it's maybe 120 bucks. Links to everything in the description. Let's go see if we can catch up a bass. At least show you how I like to work these. All right, guys, so when I'm fishing this, you know, a lot of times I am going to use my forward-facing sonar. Other times, basically, I'm just going to throw this and contour the bank with it. Come across trees, lay downs, over top of grass. It's just a little more subtle than a spinner bait. And especially with that J-Bros on the back of it, I'm telling you, you're going to get some big bites. That straight tail is a winter time and fall time phenom. So let me show you how I fish this. It's pretty simple especially for fall bass. Now, this is the 3 8 ounce head. If it was me and they were probably 20, 
to 35, the 3 8 ounce is what I'm gonna use. So we've got a school of fish right out here. They're about anywhere from 40 to 70 feet. So it's a big school. We're gonna make a cast at them. So casting this thing, you know, it's just, it's super easy. All you're gonna do is throw out there. So when you cast out there, basically you wanna keep your rod tip up. Keep it up there to about a 10 o'clock position. You know, if you're fishing deeper, you can drop it down, of course. But <laughs> I just, I keep getting bites out of the school, but they're not taking it. But the big thing is really you want to reel this thing as slow as you can. So getting the weight, picking the right weight is a key to this bait. I'm fishing a little faster because these fish are up. And that's actually a little tip I can give you. Sometimes when these bass are up and they're schooled up, throw a little heavier bait and burn it through them. It'll get a reaction from them. Now, most of the time, I'm going to tell you, though, if I was fishing these bass and they're you know, probably 10 feet down, I'm gonna throw that little eighth ounce head. Another thing is if they're really active or you're trying to get a reaction bite, a paddle tail. So put it on some sort of little Kitek. The Kitek I like this time of year is not the swing impact, not on an, on an underspin, but like, I forget the name of it, but it'll be down in the description. It's a little minnow bait. It's a little more subtle. I think it gets the job done real well. Now, something I want to tell you with the hook set on these, these are single jig hooks. They don't have a lot of weight. The blade generally doesn't get in the way. What I'll generally do is set the hook up and then work the rod tip down. I'll catch up to that hook set and get my rod tip down so they don't jump. Especially on a spinning combo, I think that upward hook set gives you a little more leverage and a little more power versus a side set. Now, if I was throwing an underspin on a casting combo i'm going to swing hard on the side set because that is even though it's a one or two out hook that is a pretty heavy gauge wire right there so it's not a super light gauge wire so i would set up and then real fast and get my rod tip down to keep that bass from jumping that's how i'm going to fight that fish all right so how do you win this box from dirty jigs and nickels so all you have to do is enter in hashtag dirty let's do hashtag dirty i like that hashtag dirty in the comment section below and you'll be entered to win some really cool baits that's going to get you fired up for october but guys make sure you go and you check out the underspin it is a good bait for when they're busting on those shad when they're chasing those shad they're keyed on those shad that little blade really does set you apart from what they eat gives a little bit of action and gets them fired up to where they have to come over and take a bite out of it as always questions and comments in the comment section below you geeks know i love to talk fishing with you and i mean that i love to talk about fishing i love that this channel is about geeks helping geeks to catch more bass so leave those questions and comments down there in that comment section i'll get back to them asap and as always don't forget hashtag dirty so that you can get your underspin, all right? Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell, hashtag 100% Watch Squad. You guys know I love you. And as always, you geeks rock.